as always, with Namdi Kanu's treason trial at the Federal High Court Abuja, security is stepped up at the court premises. No sooner had three of the four defendants arrived at the court premises, their trial commences, but the absence of Mr. Namdi Kanu means that the case, which had been adjourned for hearing on the 25th of April 2017, is not going to continue as planned. Prosecuting counsel on behalf of the federal government asked the court to revoke the bail granted to Mr. Kanu on the 25th of April and to compel his sureties to produce him as he had violated all his bail conditions. The court will make a necessary order when the time comes in respect of the defendant who defaulted in appearing before the court. Reacting to the application, Kanu's lawyer, Ifanyi Jufo, claims he is unaware of his client's whereabouts. Following the visit of the Nigerian army to his residence on September 11, 2017. I don't know whether he's alive. They are, they are with him. The Nigerian army is with him. And uh, we are filing suit to that effect before this court. And it's assigned to this court. Justice Nyako then asks one of the sureties, Senator Enyinaya Abaribe, the location of Mr. Kanu, to which the senator replies that he does not know where the defendant is and states that he has filed an application to be disqualified as a surety to Mr. Kanu. However, the judge informs Senator Abaribe's counsel that he only has three options to recuse himself as a surety. These are production of Kanu in court and withdrawal of himself as a surety, or in the alternative, forfeit the 100 million bill bond he signed as a surety or ask for more time to produce the accused. The lawmakers counsel reluctantly opts for the last option. Outside the courtroom, the other defendants are involved in a fracas with security operators when the defendants insist on addressing the media. While his party argues that Mr. Kanu is in the custody of the federal government, the federal government has asked the court to compel the sureties to produce him to answer charges against him. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.